Welcome to all my dear students for our online tutorial for the subject PSS. Yesterday we had taken problems based from unit number 4 and 5. Let us continue with those problems. Few more problems we are going to see today. Before that let us uh, first have the our mantra that is stay at home and stay safe. Okay. So let us begin with the first problem. Uh, this, pro uh, this problem we had taken for the very first online lecture. Uh, let us see for this second one. You can read this problem. 250 Hz generating units operate in parallel within the same plant. With the following ratings are given. The multi machine system problem this is given. So it is required to calculate equivalent inertia constant on the base of 100 MVA. Right? So the formula we are knowing uh, to calculate the individual inertia constant for the machines as shown here H1 system uh, which is equal to H1 machine into G1 machine by G system all the values are given in the problem it's, uh, itself substitute those values and you will get H1 value as 20 megajoules per MVA. Similarly for H2 uh, we get the value as what 50 megajoules per MVA. So they asked equivalent H constant on the base of what 100 MVA. So equivalent by the formula we know the summation of these two that is H1 plus H2 gives you the equivalent inertia constant as a 70 megajoules per MVA. And this is equivalent inertia constant on the base of 100 MVA and can be used when the two machines swing coherently. Okay, that's it for that problem. Now come to the next problem. This problem we already discussed in yesterday's online lecture. Uh, similarly, uh, the next problem also we are knowing you the you have to only substitute the values in our del CR formula and you will get the answer for critical clearing angle like this. You will you try this. If you are having any kind of difficulty, any doubt, please ask me. Okay, you can mail me or also you can WhatsApp me or even you can ring me at any time. Getting me? Right? Okay. Uh, similarly, you can try this problem also. We had taken similar problem in yesterday's online lecture. Okay, you can please try. Then uh, this, yes. Considering the next problem, uh, you can read this. A 400 MVA synchronous machine has inertia constant it is given and the base is also given. Uh, similarly for second machine inertia constant is given. The two machines are operating in parallel. Find out H equivalent. The similar problem as just we have seen. So here the total kinetic energy of the two machines we can uh, by using that formula we can easily find out the value it is what 5440 megajoules correct then H equivalent the formula we are knowing as what H one of the one system is H machine into G machine by G system the same formula it is used this is for H1 this is for H2 addition of these gives you H equivalent which is 54.4 or on the base of 100 MVA the formula we are knowing that is the kinetic energy stored in megajoules to the system base that is G base we used to take. So the answer we are getting on the base value of 100 it is 54.4 megajoules per MVA. Got it? Then second uh, the last one I think this is our last problem from the unit 4 and 5. Uh, again here uh, 100 MVA to 450 hertz generator has moment of inertia the value of I or J it is given 40 into 10 to the power 3 kg meter square. What is the energy stored in the rotor at the rated speed and similarly what is the value of the capital M that is the angular momentum and determine the inertia constant H. So for that we know the formula for kinetic energy stored it is given as 1 by 2 J omega square M. J is the moment of inertia. Omega is the angular mechanical speed. Okay. So the first of all we have to convert this into the in equivalent electrical speed. So for that I need synchronous speed 
whose formula I know it is 128 by P. I got the answer as 3000 RPM. Now substitute this for the omega m, the formula we are knowing 2 pi n is by frequency. So substitute these values and we get the answer as 2842.4 megajoules. Okay, so this is the first that is what the kinetic energy stored. Second, they ask inertia constant. Inertia constant we are knowing it is again the formula kinetic energy stored to the machine's ratings in MVA. Substitute the values and we obtain this answer. Then they ask angular momentum. Again I know this formula angular momentum it is J into omega m that is the moment of inertia into the mechanical angular speed. Substitute the values and we get the answer as what 15.07 megajoules second per mechanical radian. Okay, that's all for the, uh, that is the problems regarding the unit number 4 and 5. In the next, uh, we are, next uh, slide or session, we are, we are going to see for the uh, very important question that is usually asked in your university exam for 8 marks, that is the solution of swing equation. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.